Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Hello and welcome to Teach Me Tech. This is the place to be if you want to find out more information about cloud technology and the right tools that you need to save time and money in your business. And today is an awesome episode. I've got Sophie Hasek here with me on how to get started with Receipt Bank, which is an amazing expense management and accounts payable tool. So I'm very, very, very excited. <laughs> I literally like <laughs> couldn't sleep last night. I was so excited to talk about Receipt Bank. <laughs> And what are we going to talk about today? Well, before we get started, two very quick things. First thing, please follow along with this episode. This guy's got a very outdated computer. I'm sure yours is a lot more updated than his. But if you've got a computer, definitely your mobile device would be handy to have today. Please follow along with us. And of course, use the hashtag TeachMeTech on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus to ask questions or share your success with Receipt Bank. All right, so here's what we're going to cover today. What is Receipt Bank and why you need it in your business? And I couldn't fit it on the slide, but it's why you absolutely must use this tool in your business. Combining expense management and accounts payable. And then setting up your first account and best practice for adding users. From there, we're going to talk about an overview of the Receipt Bank dashboard and how you can get familiar with that. Customizing your account and nabbing the mobile app to make the most out of Receipt Bank, you absolutely must use the mobile app. Integrating with your account software, your accounting software. Submitting your first receipt or invoice, we'll walk you through all of that. Setting up automations. And finally, examples of Receipt Bank in action, so how it's going to save you lots of time and money. So let's Get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'd love to introduce you to the beautiful Sophie Hasek, who's from Receipt Bank. Hi. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's nice to be here. I'm excited as you are. <laughs> yes, it's my pleasure. Trust me. Um, I've been using Receipt Bank for quite a few years. And how long have you been working with Receipt Bank? Uh, so the company's about five and a half years old now. So I've been there right from the beginning, which is mm -hmm. incredibly exciting to have seen the, the journey and see the number of people using us now. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, and Receipt Bank, I think it's it started in the UK. Yeah, two co-founders based in the UK. Um, and then we came out to Australia and New Zealand. And we're also in the States as well. Got it. OK. Yeah. And we're filming this here in Australia. So Sophie is the country manager at Receipt Bank. And she's got her hand across all different aspects of the organization. Mm -hmm. So I hope that she shares with me a little bit more about what's to come in the future of Receipt Bank as well. Absolutely. Yes. Definitely will. Woo. So we've got so much to cover. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get started? I am. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> awesome. So the first thing I wanted to chat with you about, just to frame up this whole episode, is really what is Receipt Bank and why must you absolutely need it in your business? And I've brought a couple of my own little receipts here uh, to use along the way. But maybe you explain a little bit, just the basics, what is Receipt Bank? Yeah, so uh, small businesses, are, uh, there's a huge challenge of bookkeeping. And it doesn't sound glamorous, and it doesn't sound easy, and it sounds kind of time consuming. And that's because it, it is all those three things. But it's so key to running your business effectively and efficiently, and knowing really where your money's going, mm. uh, what suppliers need to be paid, especially if you're doing marketing activities. So actually, what, what avenues are best suited uh, to growing your business further? So it gives mm. you really good analysis over your expenditure in your business. Mm. Wow, so you can actually manage everything. All of your expenses yeah. go in this one system. Yeah, absolutely. So it really depends on the type of small business you are. So mm. if you're uh, a sole trader, for example, mm. and everything you're paying for yourself or um, all of your supplier invoices are just coming through you, that's fine, that mm. can work well. If you've got a sales team and you've got guys out on the road and they're you know, buying fuel or they're going on Uber or they're using different, they're taking clients out for lunch, um, you know, they'll want to be able to submit their expenses themselves and then you can track them as their manager. So mm. it depends on whether it is uh, an expense management tool or an accounts payable tool or a combination of the two. Okay, so you can essentially do everything within the one system. 
And if you've got multiple people in the team, it's a really transparent way mm. to track what people are doing. Definitely. So yeah. no surprises within the team. Nobody can do anything sneaky. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And it just makes it so much easier. So you're not having to wait or chase your employees to submit their expenses. How, mm. you know, I speak to so many small businesses and they just say how difficult that is to get yes. their employees to submit the expenses. Yeah. They find it time consuming. They find it challenging. So this is a really easy way to do that. Mm. I guess what uh, I'm curious because you work with so many different business owners yeah. and you work with accountants and bookkeepers. Yeah. Um, what are some of the main problems that they have? Like they're storing receipts yeah. what, in like shoe boxes. What yeah, are they doing with definitely. them? Definitely. So the storage of dis receipts is really challenging. It sounds kind of simple, but actually it's really difficult mm -hmm. um, because as you say here, these kind of thermal pieces of paper fade really quickly. Mm -hmm. So if you're having to keep them for a seven year period for tax reasons or you know, mm -hmm. uh, authority reasons, the data fades really quick. So how do you preserve that information um, in as good a quality as possible? Um, so that's one challenge. And then the mm -hmm. challenge is actually just collecting them in the first place. So how many of these receipts actually just get put in your wallet or in your purse or in the back of your car or if you're a tradie mm. in the back of the ute or uh, how many things get stuck in your inbox so flights go missing and mm. all of those expenses just, it's hard to capture them all. Mm. Absolutely, it's a huge, huge problem. I know I face it even as a small business owner. I can't believe like just how many receipts pile up during the week yeah. and they clog my wallet, it's horrible. Yeah. Um, and Receipt Bank really fixes that problem. Um, in addition, with Receipt Bank, you can also f use a mail forward, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So for all of those invoices that you're receiving, all those bills that you're getting, uh, either through HTML invoices or PDF attachments, um, a good example of things like MailChimp or Zendesk or Uber, uh, or even your, you know, your phone bill providers, um, they're going to be emailing your invoice. So actually just forwarding that straight through to your Receipt Bank email address. So we'll give you your own email address, and then you can just forward any attachment to that. Um, and what's even better is you can actually get the supplier to email that address straight away. So if it's a trusted supplier, um, particularly things that come out from direct debit, mm. um, the supplier can just email it straight through. So it's so effortless for you as a small business owner. You're not having to worry about forwarding anything or when it comes through. It'll just hit your receipt bank account on the day it's raised. Mm, it's amazing. I mean, it's really fixing that issue of just getting everything in one place. You know, I'm always talking about the idea of getting your business organized in different buckets. Yeah. Receipt bank, you just gather everything in one spot and, you know, then it makes it easier at the end of your accounting period to go and identify what you're missing yeah. and then go and sort just those few things out rather than... Definitely. And mm. I, I uh, absolutely hate being chased. I am probably the worst person to chase and I'm probably <laughs> not alone. I know that. But I, uh, uh, I hate getting chased by, by suppliers for payment and we alleviate that. We're really reducing that. So if the bill comes in early, you can often get early discounts as well if you're paying on time or paying mm. earlier. So taking advantage of that. Um, and as you say, you're not being chased at the end of each quarter, at the end of each financial year by your accountant or your bookkeeper because all of the information is where they need it. So you're actually reducing that friction there as well. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, well, that ties in really well into the next topic that, um, that we're going to chat about, which is combining expense management and accounts payable. Mm. Now, when you explained this to me before we started this episode, yeah. I, I have to admit, as a small business owner, I primarily use Receipt Bank to manage expenses. You know, that means I've already paid for it or it's been on direct debit or whatever using a card. And then I take the receipt and then just stuff it in. Yeah. But it also works really well as an accounts payable yeah. tool. So can you talk a little bit more about that? Definitely. So it's really key if you're using cloud accounting products. So if you're using Xero or QuickBooks Online, for example, and you've got the bank feed there, which is showing, as you say, everything that's already been paid. So everything mm. that's been paid on your, your MasterCard or your, you know, your Visa card, um, you've got your point of truth there of things that have been paid. Mm. What we're doing with the accounts payable side is actually giving you visibility of the bills that need to be paid. Mm. So rather than waiting until they've already hit your bank account and wondering whether you've got enough cash flow to pay that supplier, mm. actually we're going to be showing you ahead of time what bills need to be paid and when. So then you have more control over when things get paid. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. Um, I, I have to say, it doesn't happen a lot in my business, but mm. definitely there are a lot of industries where that would be useful. Yeah, like, do you have any examples? Definitely. So uh, a really good one is a graphic designer. Mm. So they'll have suppliers coming in with different things um, and different materials, for example, mm. and then being able to uh, forward those on in advance. Uh, any trade as well. So any tradies are a really good example too. So they'll be getting the picking up their materials and they won't necessarily need to pay for them at the time, but mm. knowing when they need to pay them is really key. Yeah, awesome. 
Again, getting it all in one place and making sure that you're handling all of your expenses and anything that might be due in the future really efficiently yeah. streamlined. And all small businesses have utility bills. Mm -hmm. Again, as unglamorous as that sounds, everyone has rent, everyone has internet, everyone has electricity. Um, so even those utility bills and automating those supplies are really key. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love it. And it's just one less thing that you have to worry about in your business. It can really be taken care of with technology. And imagine mm -hmm. turning all of these receipts immediately into... To continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.